So, like, this Raider situation is fascinating. Oh, oh, boy. Okay, because there's a lot of things to kind of decipher here and to decode. Devontae Adams, I talked about this on first take. Remember, he left Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers made an offer that was similar to what the Raiders offered allegedly. Mm -hmm. Then I heard Stephen A. Smith say they were delayed with that offer, though. That's on their fault. I didn't remember that being a part of the story, but Stephen A. saying it leads me to believe that that was certainly a part of the story on Devontae's side. It was mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'm, as I'm going and deciding to go to the Raiders, they say, wait, 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 as I'm out the door, here's a deal. Maybe that's how it went down. But nonetheless, there's a lot of things said. Devontae said he wanted to get out from underneath maybe the shadow of playing with Aaron Rodgers because everything he would do, mm -hmm. well, you got the best football thrower of all time throwing you the ball. They were friends, but I think he kind of said, I want to go prove to people that I could still be Devontae Adams without Aaron Rodgers. He goes to Derek Carr, a guy he knows very well. Mm -hmm. Very, very well. Mm -hmm. The situation, how it ends with Derek Carr and the Raiders, bad. Brutal. Yeah. Terrible. Kick him out of the building. Yeah. We didn't know that at the time. We assumed that was the case at the time. But now that Derek Carr has kind of come out and spoke about what the situation was, they basically just told him, hey, don't come back. We can't have you getting hurt walking down the steps mm -hmm. or maybe walking through the parking lot. And then we're going to owe you $50 million guaranteed. We're moving on. Don't come back. Derek Carr has come out and said, like, wish it would have ended – a little bit. I wish I could have came and said goodbye to like the people in the cafeteria, you know, like trainers yep. and equipment managers. Makes I was the it. face of the franchise. Long time. Long Decade. time. Yeah. All my, helped with the transition into Vegas. Like loved being a Raider. Had pride being a Raider. You guys just kind of kicked me out. Business is business. We get that. But think about Devontae mm. watching that all kind of unfold. He's like, wait a second. I came here to play with Derek Carr. Now, it's Derek Carr, Aaron Rodgers. I don't think anybody's saying that. But I just watched Derek Carr this past weekend against Indianapolis Colts. And he was putting things on. Michael Thomas has his back shoulder catch against the Colts in, like, the first quarter. And it was a laser. Just an absolute. You saw some Derek Carr greatness. Now, mm -hmm. there is moments of Derek Carr doing Derek Carr stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Devontae expected, okay, Jimmy G's going to be my quarterback. A O'Connell is going to be my quarterback. Josh McDaniel's offense is not going to work. The team is going to be abysmal. And then they're going to be looking at maybe a turnover in my third year here with head coach, quarterback, GM. Who knows what the future looks like? So after a game like last night where Devontae dropped a ball, hey, mm -hmm. that does not happen. Yeah. Especially with the conversations that have all taken place around Devontae and the situation about not being targeted and let's get this guy the ball and the other things he said. He did drop yep. one ball last night. Yep. Okay? Anomaly. Yes. Not used. He dropped one ball. Okay, we get it. But, buddy, there's like 200 yards of rece receiving on the field still mm -hmm. from Jimmy G missing them. And you start thinking to yourself, are the Raiders going to be able to fix their situation in the next year, in the next two years, when Devontae's under contract? Do we think Jimmy G is going to be the quarterback next year or two years from now for the Las Vegas Raiders? Do we think McDaniels yeah. is going to be the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders a year from now, two years from now? So if you're Devontae, and allegedly Jordan Schultz of the Schultz Report, now with Bleacher Report, came out and said that Devontae did test how interested the Raiders would be. In, I mean, that's just a miss. Yep. That's just a massive miss that doesn't happen in the NFL. Jimmy G came out and said it was a bad day. But you can't be having a bad day whenever we're in Jeez. the middle of a discussion about wasting a guy's prime talent years and what he wants to become and what your team can become. Now, Jimmy's going to have a bad day. That takes place. But Devontae mm -hmm. is about done with everybody having bad days all the time, seemingly, since he's come to the Las Vegas Raiders. Trade deadline today at 4 p.m. So you have to start thinking to yourself, is Devontae Adams going to move on from the Raiders? You start looking at his contract. If they were to trade him, I think it would be a $31.5 million dead cap hit. If he was to go to another team, they'd owe him $3.8 million, which is, I believe is a prorated salary for this year, mm -hmm. and then $17 million the year after that. Every it, team in the NFL yeah. can make that happen yeah. somehow. I feel like there's a very good chance he's going to be on the move, even though he signed a massive contract to become a Raider, and it has yeah. done nothing like we thought it was going to become, d -Bug. Man, it, 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 He's, he's got to be just a long nightmare right now because from the time he went over there, I feel like we've kind of seen a different part of uh, a different side of Devontae. We've always seen him and almost not really heard him off the field, but he was, you know, complaining about targets last year. And then even this offseason, kind of talking about, you know, him still being him away from Aaron Rodgers and things like that. But now, with where things are going with McDaniels, the quarterback situation up and down week to week, like that receiver position. It's great to have one, but they are dependent on so many other things. They're dependent on the play callers, a good offensive line, a good quarterback to make good decisions and throws. So it's frustrating, man. You see his his transition to you know Las Vegas and then Tyreek's transition to Miami. You remember both of these guys pretty much moving the same offseason. Like, I mean, it's night and day what's going on there. So um, I, I wouldn't be shocked at all if he moves 
Maybe the Niners. I know they got the most most cap space. Ooh. I know you mentioned the Chiefs earlier in the division, so we'll see. But Ravens. I mean, everybody. Yep. The Ravens so would be unbelievable. That'd but be uh, Indianapolis Colts. Yeah. Well, well, I don't know about that one. But Chicago want- Bears are buying. That's Chicago true. Bears are trading. Yeah. Chicago Bears are making trades. They traded for Sweat this morning true. from the Washington Commanders. True. I don't think anybody thought the Bears would be buyers in this situation, but allegedly what is being reported is they have $110 million in cap space going forward after this season, mm-hmm. and they know that they won't be able to get Montez Sweat for a, in a second round next year. Mm-hmm. So this is basically free agency in the middle of the season right. yep. looking ahead to next year. Not a bad play at all if that's the case. They have a corner who's requesting a trade in Chicago. Jalen John- Johnson. Johnson. Yep. I wonder if this changes that whole thing. <laughs> and what are the Bears doing? This is interesting because they still will have those number ones, right? Because it's oh, a yeah. second round yep. pick. So still be able to make yeah. moves with young, t- young talent. And they're able to do free agency. Not a bad way to use the trade deadline here in Chicago. But it, to my point, though, you never know who's going to decide yeah. to trade for a team or who's going to make the best offer for anybody. Right. You would assume it's going to be the teams that want to go win a Super yep. Bowl. Very, very true. And talking about Devontae, like, he did sign up to go play with Derek Carr. And with Derek Carr, he had 100 catches, 15 touchdowns, I think, and 1,500 yards. Like, So he had a really good season with Derek Carr. And then, I mean, he couldn't be happy with what the Raiders did to Derek Carr because they're fr- – what's going on? <laughs> you, just, you, you look like an asshole. In a good what way. do you mean? Well, that's kind of what I was going for. But, uh, <laughs> huh. but yes. Yeah, that's who you are. <laughs> yeah. Devontae would, like you guys mentioned the Ravens. That makes a ton of ton of sense. Because, like, OBJ, he, he's there. He's he's having an okay season. Zay Flowers is, but they don't they don't have that, like, Devontae guy. Like, Devontae is, is different. The Chiefs yeah. make the most sense out of any team in the league because, yes, if the blueprint is out, which I don't think it is, well, like from the Broncos last week or whatever against Kelsey, like you can't do that to Kelsey with Devontae. But are they going to trade within the division? I assume it would take a lot. But if you're the if you're the Chiefs, give up whatever. It's not like you, you don't need the draft. I mean, you have your team, whatever. You have Pat Mahomes. Like Aaron, we had you on a couple weeks ago, and you kind of mentioned, you know, with uh, when it came to Devontae Adams, hey, even when he's not open, he's open. You know, you just got to kind of pepper the football at him. And then obviously with the trade deadline being today. Um, and then, you know, the the Raiders getting gobsmacked last night by the Lions on Monday Night Football. Is there anything that can happen in Vegas for them to kind of right this ship with Devontae? Um, because, boy, does it look bad. He's he's pretty pissed off. You know, he's screaming, slamming his helmet, and rightfully so. I mean, you know, they left about 180 yards and two touchdowns out there for him. But do you see there being any world where – he gets traded is is a you know kind of a clean start a uh, new page of the book the best move for him here or uh do you see a path in which they can kind of right this wrong in Las Vegas with Devonte and Jimmy G well i hope he gets traded because we we play him in a couple of weeks so <laughs> I, I hope i hope he's not there cuz he's uh He's still the most dynamic receiver in the league. And, uh, you know, obviously there's some frustration uh, last night. Um, I didn't see the game. I was keeping uh, keeping tabs on it. But uh, we had our, our watch reveal, so I couldn't watch it. Oh, I what a see, night. <laughs> I, I, did so see a, cool. I did see a couple of the uh, the opportunities that they had. Sure. And uh, I think he was, you know, obviously uh, a little bit upset. But um, he's a very, very valuable player. So whoever is going to want him is going to have to going to have to pay up. I'm sure. I don't know why you would move him because he's a generational talent. But um, you know, hopefully he's. Listen, I, I'd love to see him in a couple weeks if he's there and uh, and catch up, give him a hug. But um, I wouldn't be disappointed if he uh, if he wasn't there when we played him. Uh, so Schefter has come out and said that his source is within the Raiders, and we've obviously read a text that you have sent Schefter in the past and obviously your thoughts on the insider game for sure. But he said his sources at the Raiders say there's no chance in hell that Devontae Adams is moved today. Kind of goes to the point that you said, like, it's a generational talent. But you start looking at the future over there, Aaron, and this isn't for you to do. Obviously, you're a Jet, but, like, who's going to be the coach there? Is it just going to be Josh? Is it still going to be Josh McDaniels? What does two years look like from now? And then are we just wasting a couple years of one of the greatest wide receivers of all time's career but I guess what Shannon Sharp said earlier which is a valid point like that's what he signed up for whenever he went to Las Vegas you know it's kind of it's an interesting game this trade deadline you know because I appreciate the fact that players are getting moved now